Hi, this is Seamless, and today we're going to go over the ultra super basics of FM and the theory and of why things do what they do and have done in various tutorials that I've done in the past. So we're going to talk about, uh, just go over the basics of what it does, what it is, and then we're also going to go over why a triangle wave works better for the vocal form and stuff and why the vocal form stuff even happened just to begin with, like why that even is a thing. So. Let's open up, open up a citrus that's there, put it in channel 1, and then open up a parametric EQ2. This is so that we can see the uh, cool little frequency stuff. Yeah, this could be very handy. So, if I'd like more bass. That'll do. So, uh, let's begin by... Uh, okay, first of all, FM synthesis means frequency modulation synthesis. synthesis. Um, that's because all of this is based and derived and because uh, everything is about modulating frequency. So um, this is not, it's like if you were to LFO the pitch on something, but it's way faster, it's a lot faster. It's as fast as audio, actually, uh, in terms of wave oscillation, because, um, like, for example, what I'm going to do here is I'm now I'm going to oscillate the frequency of operator one by operator two, the wave and the speed of operator two. <laughs> eh, Game of Thrones. Um, that's what that sounds like. Um, the modulation that we get is when we control the frequency modulation amount in that goes into operator one. And that's this tab here. And then I'm gonna select this this line to indicate that it's mapped to modifier X. So why does it sound like that? Well, let's look at what it sounds like when it's really, really slow. So that's what's going on. This this is acting as an as a LFO, a low frequency oscillator, chain uh controlled connected words to um the pitch of oscillator one. As it gets faster, it starts to resemble that tone. So where does the vocal stuff come from? The vowel morphing formant jazz. This comes from adding in an additional harmonic or several additional harmonics. We're gonna, we're gonna go with just one though. So we're gonna do that by moving operator three to also go to operator one, but it's going to be really high. It's gonna be five octaves high, in fact. Already you can kind of hear it doing it. Now look at the look at the parametric EQ2 EQ2 here. You see how this little cluster of frequencies opens and closes? Well, that is basically what's causing the vocal formant effect that we hear. Cause that's what uh it sounds like, or at least looks like when we do it with our own voice. Like so like so. Yeah 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 yeah. See that? Yeah 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 yeah. That's how that works. Now, in my previous tutorials, I said that I found that it works better with triangle wave. I didn't really understand why, but now I do, and now so will you. So this is why, this is why we use triangle waves. Let's go use one of those too. It's really, you see how it's really uh, pronounced and what's going on, going on in there? Uh, that's because of what happens when you oscillate the operator with a triangle instead of a sine. Let's go back to the really slow and see why. Yeah, 
Now, for some reason, when you have a triangle wave, instead of it sweeping through the frequencies like so, it just goes from one to the other immediately. I have no idea why it does that. I have none whatsoever, but it does. And it's because of that behavior that the vocal foreman stuff works out better. It's because when we're doing the vocal stuff and the uh, sine wave is oscillating through all the frequencies between the top bottom, top frequency, and the bottom frequency, you hear, you're hearing all of it. It's very muddy. But when you do with the triangle wave, it's only the top frequency and the bottom frequency. And then all the interactions that happen because we have more than one oscillator. Uh, and then the, also the FM amount changing. So, uh, what does that mean for uh, the harmonic? Like, why does that happen with a harmonic? Well, let's look at the har what the harmonic sounds like without the fundamental. And then modulate again. Basically just increases the volume of that position. As we slowly uh, bring in the har the fundamental, though, uh, at the very let's do very slow first. This uh, movement that you see in the low is also being applied to the high. And if you're thinking, oh, it's not really moving that fast in comparison to low, it actually is because up in this higher end of the, of the frequency spectrum, the distance of one spot to another is a couple thousands of of hertz, whereas down here it's only like a couple hundred. So the ratio is correct. That's why that happens. So now I'm going to show you a really cool effect that you can do when you have the harmonic in a separate operator like I do here. Because usually I just put the harmonic in the oscillator window like that, where where that's good is you can do you can do this, but you can also do stuff like that, which uh, can sound cool if you do if you mess with it enough, and it uh, sounds right to you at the time. Come on, fraps. So now I'm going to show you how to do a cool trick utilizing the separate harmonic setup we have here. So um, right now I have I have the harmonic and the fundamental uh, operator two FMing operator one. So like this. And because we have it sep the harmonic separate, we can also modulate that separately from the whole shebang. So watch the EQ here and we'll see we'll see how this is cool. Alright. Uh let's use four into three. Four into four, four to three. And then I like to do some deeper stacks. <laughs> So that's a cool effect. Anywho, uh, that's about it for this tutorial. Uh, we covered what FM is, what it even means, and why it does. Uh, also, why triangle waves do the vocal stuff better. Uh, what it means to put a harmonic in there and why that creates the vocal effect and also what the vocal effect is. Um, thanks for watching. Also, thanks for 1,100 plus subscribers. That's extremely cool. Uh, if you do like this, uh, you can subscribe to me and there'll be more. Also, I have the music that I do. Uh, you guys seem to enjoy that. That's also a thing that there'll be more of. I actually have a track that I'm almost done with that if you enjoyed bass antics, you will enjoy this too. Um, also, that sample pack that I did that's on that's for sale on Black Octopus, Black, Black Octopus Sound uh, had, had its price drop. It's now uh, $39.99, and I will have a link to that in the description. So, so thanks for watching, and have a good day.